come in and select the place cell command, notice in fact that the annotation scale lock is also here. So basically what it comes down to is that any of the tools that support the ability to be annotative, you'll find that the annotation scale lock toggle is right there in the tool settings. All right, so let's go ahead and add a room label in here. Maybe just like we did on the other ones that were placed on the plan already. If I were to pick the browse button and select a cell, this will open up the cell library. And if you remember when I first started speaking, I told you that this is selective. You can do it as you need to. So in a case of a cell, you can turn it on or off per cell as they are placed. But what gives it the ability for the cell to actually use that as a property on the cell? And so here in the cell library, very quickly and easily, you can see which cells have the ability to be scalable with annotation scale, which ones do not. For example, the border. The border is not an annotatable cell. It doesn't have the annotation scale icon. So the room label that we have here is in fact scalable. And you can see that right here, folks. So if we go to place that then, and the annotation scale lock toggle is on, it will automatically size that then based upon the current annotation scale. So that means the cell itself has to be created with this type of concept in mind, a one-to-one -one based on what you want to see on your printed sheet. So now I'll go ahead and place that in here. What I wanted to show you is that even though this is a cell that has the ability to follow or be impacted by a change in the annotation scale, you can still do all the normal things that you're used to doing. So here, if I wanted to come in and assign the actual room ID, I can go and double click on that, change that piece of text to whatever it is that I wanted. Maybe in this case, the room ID should be 118 and apply that. And it does not harm anything to edit that room number label. It still has the ability to follow the annotation scale. Now we saw that we have one of the room IDs over here that's not doing that. That is for Office 119. And that is just simply because this particular label was not placed with that in mind, the annotation scale factor. When this one was created, it was placed in the drawing file with a manual exaggeration factor say of 1 to 100, and it was placed with annotation scale off. That is how the 119 was placed in here. It does not have the ability to follow a change in the active annotation scale. But that's how that was done. That's why that one doesn't automatically update like the rest of them do. So I'm going to just place an annotatable element within a drawing for room 119. Easily done, as you can see. But the one thing that we want to maybe take a look at here is that's not the only item that was not automatically annotatable. In fact, if you look around, we have a couple of other pieces of text in here, such as the training room label that we have here that does not follow a change in the annotation scale. So it is possible, you may ask, to come in here and kind of retrofit this into your existing workflow. And the answer is yes, you most assuredly can. I can change that existing piece of text and make it annotatable if I wish to. And in fact, your standard text tools support that directly. So here, for instance, I could go in to my change text attributes tool. We'll go ahead and expand this dialog just a little bit. In addition to setting something like the justification, you can also make something annotatable. All right, so for instance here, I can say, well, yeah, let's go ahead and set that to be the 2.5 millimeter textile that we've got. I want the justification to be center center, and I would also like to update it and make it annotatable. 
Then from there, it's a matter of coming in and selecting the piece of text that you want and making that annotatable as you go. All right, so that's how you can come in and basically kind of retrofit this into an existing workflow. You don't have to have things regenerated, but instead you can come in here and do as you see fit. All right, but folks, that's just a basic concept of how something is placed using annotation scale in MicroStation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.